Here's the latest on Xtalks.com. Mylan's combination inhaler received FDA approval last week, becoming the first generic version and newest rival of GSK's Advair. Hello, I'm Candace Tang, life sciences journalist and webinar moderator for Xtalks.com, and welcome to this edition of Xtalks Vitals. Our featured webinar for this episode is Using Real-World Evidence to Build Dynamic Cohorts in Real Time. Click the link in the description below to register for this free webinar, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the bottom right corner of this video so that you can always be up to date on the latest Xtalks Vitals episodes. Advair, the brand version by GSK, faced almost no competition since its approval in 2000, raking in sales of over $4 billion ending in November 2018. Ranging from $170 to $270 per dose, there's no wonder that patients are looking for a cheaper alternative. Mylan's generic version, called Wexilla Inhub, is intended for the treatment of asthma and the maintenance of chronic pulmonary obstructive disorder, or COPD. It contains the same active ingredients as Advair, helping to decrease inflammation in the airways and opening them up to make it easier to breathe. Why did it take so long for a generic inhaler to receive FDA approval? The regulatory process is simply much more complicated for combination products. Not only do the drugs inside the inhaler have to be safe, but the inhaler itself must be manufactured and packaged according to a high standard. The FDA recognizes that it isn't easy for generics to penetrate a market dominated by a single brand name drug. They're planning to release some guidance documents to make this process a bit easier for generic drug companies. The approval of Wexla Inhub is a breath of fresh air for Mylan, who faces heavy competition in the epinephrine injector market. On the other hand, GSK might only face short-term drops in sales as they bolster their oncology profile with a recent partnership with Tesaro. Subscribe to the Xtalks YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below and visit xtalks.com for more information on this story and our featured life science webinar for this episode, using real-world evidence to build dynamic cohorts in real time. Click the link in the description below to register for this free webinar.